We're here at the House of Blues in Orlando, and I'm here with Opeth. They are with Catatonia on tour, so um, I'll have you introduce yourself, and then we'll get started. Yeah, sure. Hi, guys. I'm Frederick from Opeth. Awesome. Well, thanks again. I really appreciate it. Um, how far into the tour are you guys right now? Today is the 12th show. 12th show. So we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. Like um, almost a third mm -hmm. of the North American Canada tour. Yeah. Any, well, like, what's been the most memorable moment for you guys so far on this tour? Hmm. Last night, actually, in uh, Atlanta, there was this guy who was crowd surfing like, hmm. four times, finally got thrown out, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> it came to a point that Michael started laughing, and we were going to play the song Hex Omega. Mm -hmm. And he just, this is a kind of sensitive type of vocal line, mm -hmm. but he just cracked up, so we had to just start over and over again. Oh. It was funny, and the crowd, they, they, they laughed too. So, when we did those anniversary shows, we played in New York, mm -hmm. and during a ballad, this guy was stage diving, crowd surfing. But <laughs> that just cracks me up. It's funny. Yeah. Because it's, <laughs> it's so out of place. Congratulations, first of all, on, on Heritage. I mean, Thank I, you. I really enjoy the album. What was the most difficult thing, I guess, with this album? Mm, to you know, get the right tone. Some parts when it's are pretty delicate and sensitive. That's uh, n not necessarily difficult to play, but it's a matter of you know fine tuning, getting that right balance. How hard you're gonna hit it? It's, like it's delicate. Mm -hmm. I think those parts can be most difficult sometimes. Right. It's like with the guitar sound. We choose on this album to have play the more heavier riffs on the neck pickup. Uh, maybe I shouldn't get too uh, technical there. And ease back a bit on the distortion. We wanted more kind of stringy type of sound. You know? mm -hmm. It's it's a different one, but uh, I think we wanted to do a real earthy kind of sounding album. Mm -hmm. We wanted the drums to sound like drums, not use any sound replacements. Or right. so we spent a lot of time getting those magic live takes done with Mendes and Axe before we did the guitar. So. If somebody was to look at your CD collection, you know, your personal CD collection at home or your iPod, whatever, what would they be surprised to see in your collection? Hmm. I think my mom once gave me a Mar Mariah Carey album. <laughs> That's a bit surprising. I haven't listened much to it, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably that. Yeah. Some weird Swedish kind of hillbilly stuff yeah. that nobody recognizes, like <laughs> Eddie Medusa or something. If you could only take one DVD on tour, you know, and that, that was it, which DVD would you take? Spinal Tap. Yeah. In a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, watched it again on the flight over, mm -hmm. and it, it never gets boring. It's just always funny. Yeah. Well, it's funny, too, that you mentioned Spinal Tap, because the last time I spoke with Michael, um, I think the day before that Progressive Nation uh, tour that, uh, over at the Hard Rock, uh, he said that you guys had a spinal tap kind of moment the day before because I think the one of the ropes had snapped and yeah. the back the whole thing fell. And yeah, that, uh, it was the fire curtain that so the fire curtain separated us. Me, Mendes, and Mike were standing, and Par and Axe got you know shut off. Whew. But we could have actually died that night mm -hmm. because I mean the pole at the end of this curtain was this fat you know spit wood piece of wood. Oh. So uh, it would definitely would have killed us if we got in there. Oh, yeah. But at the time, I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> so it was funny. Yeah, that was. That but was apparently, it went down pretty fast. We didn't see it because we were all busy playing and all so that. So you were, but you said you were in front and everything, so it fell behind or where, where yeah, were? Yeah, right between Axe, our drummer, and mm -hmm. Paris to play keyboard between us and them. Oh man. <laughs> so if it would have happened when the opening act were playing, or the, between the bird and me who played before us. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would have smashed a drummer, like, Ooh. So that was a good thing. Mm -hmm. Have you guys had any other uh, things like that happen lately, or has it been pretty tame for you guys? Any other Spinal Tap moments? Well, uh, Axe managed to flood a room when we did the anniversary yeah. show tour <laughs> in New York. That was a bit of Spinal Tap moment, so it, the water came down four floors, and the room beneath him, the whole ceiling dropped in, fell in. But nobody was there, so we got away. <laughs> How Could have been more expensive than it turned out to be. Yeah. Well, how did that happen? Just the bathtub just kept. No, he claimed water. somebody at the in the uh, at the crew hotel crew. They came in, 
to his room when he was asleep and put his bathtub on. That was his story. So. And he's sticking to it. Yeah, he's sticking to, <laughs> he's sticking to that. <laughs> Very good. Well, now after this tour is all over, um, what are your plans? Uh, we're going back home three days, and then we start a European and the UK tour. Uh, and after that, it goes directly to Australia to do four shows. Wow. So we're going to be back uh, 22nd of December. So. Oh, wow. Now, the 22nd of December for at home or? or at home. At home. Oh, that's so. perfect in time for the holidays. Yeah, exactly. So we, I think we have most of January off. Then in February, we're going to go out to play in Japan, China, some places in Asia we never played. Uh, and then it's South America, and then we're looking at another tour here in North America. Oh, wow. Nice. So well, is there any, any place um, in particular that you're looking forward to on this tour that you just can't wait to play? Mm, I think I kind of like it everywhere because it's different. I like mm -hmm. the uh, variation. Mm -hmm. But L.A. is fun because I have a lot of friends there. Oh, that's nice. And uh, so that's going to be cool. Well, lastly, what message do you have for the Opeth fans? I hope you enjoy the new album and hope to see you on tour. Well, thank you so much again. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. My pleasure. Definitely, and uh, we'll see you out there.